Okay. The Young Turks have R.A. the Rugged Man on their show. Here we go. What is good? Welcome back to the Flawedcast Live. I'm here with my lovely co-host, Mozilla. What up, yo? This is the last normal place on the internet. We are glad that you could be here with us today. All right, okay. <laughs> and you will be too by the end of this video. I guarantee you to your money back. Mm. I can't remember how I, I said it. It was all And right, you okay. will be too. And... I now in but and no, without, without further, further ado, ado, yeah, that's corny. Now nah. we are, we'll figure out a different way, something like that. But nah, that's corny. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> so please, 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 uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I drop. <clears throat> okay, so this is uh the Young Turks. Obviously, uh, I I don't fuck with them. I don't like their content. They. I've seen a couple videos, and from what I've seen, they are the bottom of the barrel. They uh, have no integrity. They don't care about whether or not their stories are true that they're reporting, but they claim to be a news show when they're truly just, uh, what's the word? Propaganda. They're basically propaganda now. They're they're just left propaganda. They they just like to fuel this, fuel the fires of the divide between the left and the right. They like to feed into that whole everyone's a racist black people are victims and can't deal can't can't handle anything in life and it's just a bunch of bullshit you I've know i've never seen a video of them well i reacted to one the other day where they that, said candace owens was yeah that little racist clip I've seen, yeah. that part i've seen but i've never that's all their shit though they're just Tur turkish people yeah but that's just all their shit they're just that's they just sit there and just regurgitate mm. that stupid bullshit and that 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 video specifically is pissed me off the most because they purposely took her took her words out of context. out of context mm -hmm. they purposely changed the word that she said they made her say by race which technically wouldn't have been wrong yeah you know but they made it they they needed her to <clears throat> they needed her to say race in order to make it seem like it was something else you know so they can use buzzwords race she said by race and it was just anyway that video was annoying if you want to see that it's on my channel uh but yeah this video is tim pool i mean Ari the rugged man on uh the young turk so let's get into it because it's probably gonna be a long video this is a 26 minute interview we might not finish the whole thing because i actually you know what i'm saying i'm gonna see what i need to see yeah but uh i'm gonna try to see as much as i can that doesn't not to say we might see the whole thing you never know you know just then, see what happens yeah we'll see what happens let's uh get into this though Spaghetti. please make sure you like the video okay Tim Pool, who has a history of minimizing racism and hatred toward black and brown Americans, Already. was recently taken to task. Already. They couldn't just All say right. Tim Pool, host of Tim Cass IRL, and then call him a racist. You got to call him a racist right off the rip. Like, God you damn. Know, they, that, this is such bullshit already. That should not be allowed in any media, in any, when whenever you're reporting anything, you shouldn't be allowed. You shouldn't be allowed to just like say shit introduce like that? people like that. Whether it's you know what I mean, whether it's left or right, it doesn't matter. Like it's just bullshit. You shouldn't be able to. Jim, uh, Jim, uh, 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 George Soros donates to the Young Turks. Of course. Yep. Yeah, so there you go. Makes even makes even more sense. Let's continue. Tim Pool, who has a history of minimizing racism and hatred toward black and brown Americans, was recently taken to task on his own show. He wasn't taken to task. Hip hop task. artist R.A. the Rugged Man pushed back against Pool, <laughs> who is apparently 75%. Pushed back against Pool. So that means <laughs> he's, the, he's yeah, a bitch. He's the bitch in that one. He's a bitch. He's the bitch in that and one. And I don't know if we'd call him hip hop artist. Let's no, not he's hip hop. Mm. He's hip hop. He no, is. He, he was hip hop. Before anything else, he was a hip hop artist. Well, he's so, whack, so. well, actually, before anything else, he was a terrible human being, and then terrible human being turned hip hop artist. But uh, yeah, yeah, he uh, he 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 is a hip hop artist. I'll give him that. But fuck you, saying pushback, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> What's her name? I don't know. No idea. Anna. Somebody said. I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. Fuck her. White uh, and twenty five percent heartfelt. Get it? Yeah. <laughs> Asian, uh, 
Because so? he claimed to be a victim of discrimination in this country. Oh, a victim Hold on, of let, racism. Me, let me rewind it so we can hear that whole sentence. Yo, this so, is already making yeah. me mad. Exactly, it triggers you, it triggers you. Who is apparently 75% okay. white, apparently. Americans, was recently taken to task on his own show. Hip hop artist R.A. the Rugged Man pushed back against Poole, who is apparently 75% white uh, and 25% right. Asian, uh, and this, because okay. he claimed to be a victim of discrimination in this country, a victim yeah. of racism in this but country. But if it was a black person, now uh, the interview had incredibly uh, fascinating elements to it. It was no, it later taken down by Tim Pool. Uh, and we'll get it to an explanation of that in just a second. But first, here's a little Not snippet of how the conversation went down. It's still up on Rumble right now. To the truck stop up the block. Nobody's looking at you like, get that guy. You know, nobody. I didn't say they were. Yeah, but what I'm saying is if you put somebody else in there, they're looking at you funny. You're good. You're good. You're going Listen. to the airport. They're not pulling you over because they no, 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 no. That's bullshit. They pull you over. Cause yes. Because you, you look like what? Because you yes, look like mother what? Look like I get randomly flagged every so time I go whoa. to the airport. <laughs> you See, you because what reason? So f if I know, because you look like what? F if I know, dude, you really hurt I got again. yeah because I get f every single time I go, <laughs> and you are a racist dude <laughs> who says racist. I couldn't possibly understand every time I go to the airport. I'm randomly screened. Oh, yeah. I think it's the every beating. time, every time, yeah, yeah. every time oh. I go to the UK. They put four S's. What are you, what are you screaming for? I'm screaming because, because what? When I you, when you're I hurt that you're a white boy. I'm hurt yeah. because oh. you're a racist. This is yeah. some kid shit. Now things uh, nearly came to blows as Tim Pool continued claiming Did that they really? the rugged man is the racist in this conversation no. and then postured as a real fighter for the disenfranchised. Let's watch. Bitch. Interviews with people on the ground to talk about what they've been through and you have the nerve to come up to Go, me yeah, and well, tell me okay, my experiences yeah, okay. don't matter well, when I'm the fighting stop the fight. Stop screaming, bitch. Stop screaming, yeah. first of all. Talk like, me. talk to me You're like I'm because I'm not, a, tell me to I'm not stop that screaming guy. In my God. Yeah, you are. My, you are. You actually God are, show. dude. Yeah. You are that no, guy. Talk about, I'm not that guy. I would go. All right. Screaming that bitch. Pussy. Every calm down. Gotta cut it, man. You, you think you I'm can. Talking, I'm not that guy. Let's calm down and he sits his ass bitch. right the what fuck down. What did you do down. to me? Okay. How about this, though, right? I'm not that guy to scream at. He screamed at you and you did nothing. You sat down. You pushed a microphone. They said, so calm down. So you are down. that guy. <laughs> they said, calm down. You said, okay, I'll sit. If you say you're not that guy to get yelled at and all that, then why didn't you do something more than just push a microphone? You are that guy. You look you're like that guy, that guy to me. You, Tim was right. You are that guy. And it is what it is. To claim that you're not that guy and then say, I'm not that guy who gets yelled at. And they just throw a mic and then sit back down. <laughs> you absolutely are that guy and you proved it. <laughs> like, come on, bro. You would have to do something in order for us to think that you're not that guy. Mm. You did nothing but push a mic. Anyone can push a fucking mic. Hey, did you disrespect me? Nah, you start look, raising did your you? voice to me like I'm some sucker. You Insecure. Are. Sucker, big sucker. Now, joining us to talk about that interaction is R.A., the rugged man himself, a legendary hip hop artist, <laughs> and uh, someone who's taken the time to talk about this. Uh, he doesn't feel he doesn't feel like like he's being used. Yo, this is the like only people that would take him. That's what I'm saying. He doesn't feel like he's being used when he says something like when they say something like. Legendary hip hop artists, these people that you've <laughs> never heard speak about you on any, at any other point in history. Yo. They've never brought you up for any reason. And now all of a sudden you're a legend. Legendary is such a big word to describe somebody. It is. And, it, well, and, dude and it's like fucked up because you could just be old and be a legend legit. now. Legit. That's all, that's all it takes Literally, to be a legend now. An OG. To have some fans and be old. You know who I thought he was <clears> when I first saw him on Timcast? Before the name came up, I thought it, it was man. disaster from um, <laughs> you are. You're bugging. <laughs> or wherever he's from, you smack or whatever. Yeah. Well, well, he's actually Turkish. Well, he this dude wants to be disaster. Well, yeah, uh, but like yeah, him. he he's not legendary. Absolutely not. Like, I hate when they do that to just old rappers who have just been around. Just like they don't have to really do shit, but have had to just just had a hit in the past that people liked and then it's like you're a legendary rapper because mm. you're still alive and you made a song in the past like no you're just a rapper <laughs> just say that yeah stop you lying rapped. to this man but they're saying legendary to try to play up who he is and because he's on their show and they're trying to like shit on tim yeah. so they're trying to make it seem like yeah we yeah he's a legendary rapper you need you should respect him like all that him and tim are cool i don't believe they are oh him and tom are cool oh 
<laughs> Tom and R.A.? I doubt that. Maybe for the, the I doubt that. I'm not cool with nobody Mo's been with in the past. <clears throat> I never would. Like, they're probably, he's that. probably the a civil, like. he's probably just a civil person. Yeah, I'm sure it. he's not like, that's mm, it. I love they're this not guy. cool. <laughs> like, and to just assume that, why do people say things like that? I, I bet they're not cool. Unless they came out, but they probably came out as even then it was just probably, to be a facade. Yeah, like, even then it probably down. wasn't real. Who's going to be cool with the, the nigga that their wife was with? Yeah. Nobody. Mm -hmm. yeah. Interaction today. So. Yeah, how you doing, everybody? <laughs> Shank, Shank's here again. Anna, right. I yeah. never met Anna in the flesh. I just met Shank. We did the show a few years back. Yeah. There's a clip of Shank in my uh, Bang Boogie video from a few oh, years nice. back. I don't know That's if you awesome. remember that. That's awesome. Yeah, you remember it. Um, so um, Anna's got a question for Anna. Yeah, so it. let me just get this part out of the way because uh, you did apologize for your outburst later um, on Twitter. Um, so I wanted to do my due diligence and share that with the audience. You wrote. Uh, <laughs> Oh, Respect God. Past, I was out of line due last diligence. night. I have a lot of um, they life won't do the due going... diligence for any other fucking story, no. though. <laughs> or they any won't other... do the due, due diligence for an actual news story, but they'll do their due diligence for Ari the Rugged Man to make sure they get get his part of the story out. But any other time, they won't even quote somebody correctly. Yo, this is crazy. This is like I just can't. I can't get it. I can't get this fucking world. Wild. They go home at night. These yeah. people go home and they know what they at are. night. They know what they are. And sleep fine. Mm -hmm. Yep. And just like, knowing that they're uh, knowing that they're destroying the world yeah. little by little. Yeah. I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and be a piece of shit again. Well like, the thing is the thing is is that that's their brand now. No one takes their brand serious. No one takes this serious. The fact the RA's on here proves that. Like mm. but no one takes this serious. So they're basically in a lane where they're just like they just suck the left's dick, you know, the whole time. That's it. Just fuel fires, suck the left's dick. They don't give a fuck as long as they're getting a check yep. because George Soros is paying them to of be course. this. Of course. So and they're he's just probably taking in script. money. <laughs> yep. Taking in money, millions, taking in millions. They don't even care about their views on, mm -hmm. on YouTube because yep. they're getting money. Absolutely. From elsewhere. Uh, respect Tim Cast. Yeah. I was out of line last night. I have a lot of um, life stuff going on right now and brought that uh, energy to the show. I have to work on that. I was wrong. I got emotional and reacted like an idiot. Uh, so I'm going to just be honest with the audience. What are you going to say? What are you going to say? Yeah. Yeah. Right. No, well, no, I'm not going to say you shouldn't have apologized. <laughs> I mean, you felt the need to do it. It's on yeah. you, you know if you want to do got, that. You see how yeah. fraudulent this dude is? I'm sorry I keep pausing so quickly. He just said I, I shouldn't have apologized. Why did you then, you pussy ass? Why did you? Because he's a pussy. You That's why. Yo, this dude is. That's the, why. He should he, be from Manchester, New Hampshire. Wow. <laughs> He really wow. should. I feel like he is crawling out of Manchester, New Hampshire. That was deep. Yeah, he's one of them. He wow. seems like one of them. He really Holy does. Shit. He really does. He does. He does, though. This dude is super like, fraudulent. Make, super fraudulent. Yes. Like, he probably doesn't even talk like that. He probably goes home he and- He taught himself to talk yes. like that. Yeah, yep. it's, a, it's an accent that he made up. Mm -hmm. But he's from New York, so it's a little bit in New York. But then that do 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 thing that he does with his tongue, I don't worse. fuck with it. He sounds like he has, like his tongue is stuck like- yeah. And I, can't, I hate that shit, bro. He does look like Ali G. Mother, I got a baby mom and kids, and now she, oh, you, you know, you went crazy. So, uh, you know, I was just. Uh, you were wearing a good dad hat on. Yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. Got to control. And plus, yeah. yeah, I'm a little older, you know, and and you know, well, he was talking a little funny. I rewatched the interview, like, right? Uh, you know, after you did it, I was like, yeah, you should have kept it. But then I watched it, and he was like, mother effer, but like he was right. talking out the side of his face. You so, said and, and I really like, like yeah. I, I saw what made me. And what were you, you doing? Know, snap a little bit. So I mean, he called you racist. Yeah, and he made himself bitch. out to be some sort of victim yeah, throughout the entirety of bitch. the interview, which I thought was fascinating. As someone bitch. who minimizes racism in this country, he really put himself in the position of someone who's disenfranchised and deals with racism all the time. No, he was well, trying to make a point. Is, he, he's a white kid. He's a so white kid. Everyone you? looks what around. Are you? He's white. You're he goes shining to the white community, bright. He's white. He goes to the black community. He's white. He's a white guy. Every white guy is you? mixed with something. He has a, a, a Asian grandparent, you know. Every I got a Sicilian grandmother. This one got, you know, a, a, you, a Turkish then? uncle. Every you know, whatever. They do. Oh, everybody's mixed in America. But so what is your boy. issue here? You gotta just, that, you know, that is the that is the thing. That's the whole thing here. So how is so, so that would make that takes away from the left's entire argument. 
That's it, exactly ex what it yep. is right there. Yep. So the, the, the less entire argument falls apart right there based on that. So, You're right. Everyone's mixed with something. So what is all this superior white race, all this <laughs> shit that y'all are making up? White supremacy and all this that's happening that's not happening. Everyone is mixed with everything. Everybody isn't. There's there's white people in the hood. There's white people everywhere. There's black people everywhere. Like, what do you... Exactly, exactly what you just said is exactly the truth. Literally. Every, even white people have descent from yeah. somewhere that is not America. Yeah. And the fact that this per that this dude is like, literally, just because Tim isn't half Asian and half white because he's 25% Asian makes him not fucking Asian. Like, this is... Re this is I can't believe this is the discussions yeah. that is that is being had at the end of 2021. Yeah. Like, I feel like we just went no, so no, far back. No logic being used at all. This is crazy. At all. And we all grew up, like, majority of us grew up together at the same time. We all know this kid's, he's probably not that much older than us. Nah, he is. What, 10 years? Yeah. Well, still, about, then well, even more. Well, that's not more. that much older, but he's, but he's been around. Exactly. Like, yo, this shit is crazy to me. I can't believe this is real. And he went there of all places. And and is gonna go on here and act like he wasn't in the wrong and just fucking take back everything he said. That's crazy. Hold up. Um shout out Chuck Norris. Shout out Chuck Norris. Appreciate you. Thank you for the ten dollar dono, bro, on Aww. PayPal. Appreciate you, brother. And yeah, nah, I can't mod you, bro. <laughs> said mod me, I won't complain. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yo, I'm a stupid. And then they go too. already. Huh? I'm a stupidest too. I hate stupid people. Yeah. Facts. I hate Fraser want to be black or all his, all his fans. Facts. All right, want to doesn't want to be white. No, I, I'm white. I admit it. He doesn't admit it. He's a right. white boy. So you know they got angry at me for that. They, they, you're a racist because you don't believe that I'm not white. You know. And then they, uh, I'm, I'm. No, all that's these not people, what he said. Uh, like these white nationalists are coming on my site. Like, you're you hate white people. And you're racist against white people. Yeah. Like when did this come become a thing? This racism against white people I from white people. Since y'all started being this? racist yeah, against right, white people, that's what happens. So, I, I went back and watched. Uh, if, if, for, if if racism against white people wasn't so prevalent, it wouldn't be getting brought up. That's why. That's why it wasn't it wasn't being brought up before because it wasn't as prevalent as it is now. It's this is a real thing now. This is a real thing that a lot of black people and white people are on. Like ra actual saying you can't be racist against white people, but then hating on them because of their race. <laughs> like it doesn't make any sense. That's literal racism. Legit. How can't you be racist against white people? It, I don't. It, this is so stupid. So stupid. From the beginning too. And uh, one of the things I was looking for was because we'd all seen the clips, right? Uh, but did you provoke him or did he provoke you? And there was no question. People can go back and watch it, okay? Um, Not on his channel because he deleted it. He but. deleted it because he was embarrassed. Because right. after oh, you really? stood up, then why? he punked out, right? We, wait, even wait, though what did he say? <laughs> Let me hear what this dude just said. I missed what he said. I didn't even listen. Yo. I was reading the chat. Hold up. Let me see what he just said. No question. People can go back and watch it, okay? Um, Not on his channel because he deleted it. He deleted it because he was embarrassed. Rumble is still his channel. He has more than YouTube. <laughs> Stupid fucking gargoyle looking bitch. He has the video up on Rumble right now, yep. the entire interview. It never went down. Mm -hmm. It went down on YouTube, probably for respect of, <laughs> of RA. Legit. He didn't want people to hate RA more than they already did Legit. watching that shit live. So he, he he really R A probably had something to do with it being taken yes, down yes. and is trying to sit here and stay silent. So like, please, dude, I'll tweet you. I'll tweet an apology. No, please. no, I I bet it wasn't like that. <laughs> You're making it something else. I doubt that it wasn't that. I doubt that it was that. But he he they probably had a conversation about it, and he took it down for the, for his, for his best interest. I really think R A had something to do with it because it went down the same night. This dude says that it went he... down the same night while he was there. Yeah, that makes sense. This dude said he took it down because he. I know I didn't get there yet. Oh, wait, didn't we bring it back? Yeah, but I had, I paused it before that. Oh, 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 my bad. Because because right. after you stood up, then he punked out, right? We, even though he, he was apparently grew up with gangbangers, which we'll get into in a second. <laughs> okay, uh, but no, it was clear. he definitely started yelling. This is a grown at you man, first. Yeah. and he definitely called you names first, this and he definitely called you racist man. first. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. all those things. So I I know why you, I get why you lost your cool. Nobody should lose their cool. Yeah, we get right. it. 
Okay. That's what I was apologizing about. Yeah, no, no, and that makes you a bigger man, and that God bless. Over the Does top it? with that, especially yeah, don't. So, so the apology after makes him the bigger man, not the holding his, his composure originally. So, the the logic is so backwards; it doesn't make any sense. So, what? So Tim isn't the bigger man for not getting up and trying to throw fisticuffs. But exactly, he's a bigger man for bugging out and then apologizing about it and sitting down when you're told to calm down. How it is, doesn't make any sense. And how is that not punking out? You Where's stood the logic? up. This dude stood up, wanted smoke. And they said, they said, calm down. And they told him to calm down. They literally said it just like that. Calm down. <laughs> and <laughs> you ain't doing said. shit, pretty much. <laughs> and he sat down. But Tim's the one that punked out. Tim didn't even need to stand up out of his chair. Literally he just said, was chilling. calm said, down. Legit. You can hear, you can hear Luke like in the background. Calm down. For real. Like, you're annoying. You're really going there. Like, relax. Nobody's afraid of you. Hilarious, And that's what bro. he was trying to do. He was trying to entice fear in people and it wasn't working so he had but, to sit down but of course this is the thing this dude right here this nasty fucking oh my god yo somebody says something about him in the chat he's that, he's disgusting yeah but uh he looks like that chick dude chick at sonic it's like i'm what do i look like <laughs> a man <laughs> yeah he looks just like him but uh i he 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 tries to sit here and act like he's a like a like he has integrity and then says shit like punked out. Like you get, you got punked out and you're the bigger man and did, like does all this shit that is clearly just manipulation and, and like just he's manipulating R.A. in front of his face. Yeah. He's manipulating R.A. to yep. his face and R.A. is supposed to be a smart dude and is allowing this. Like yep. this dude is clearly a fucking fraud. Uh, Chank. And the mic thing was on YouTube. We did a reaction to it. Yeah, because uh, what's his name reposted it. Yeah, well, it's Jimmy, on there. Jimmy now. Miscellaneous it's, at reposted least it. It's still on. Yeah. Don't worry about that. So the now, young me would have yeah, went crazier there. though. I, this, this is the grown me trying to be. Hey, don't don't scare everybody. Just try to be a little normal, you know. So and sometimes like the unnormal comes out. So I, I was sorry about being unnormal. No, no, that's cool. You know? Okay, listen. <laughs> what I wanted to ask you, Ra, is. I didn't understand what he meant by you're racist against them. I genuinely you're don't a liar. Understand. So I got you're three potential options you're as to liar. why he. So let's all try to figure out this together, okay? So I'm not you're, confused. Could be an anti-white racist. That's a thing that white supremacists say. That if you say, hey, no. anything <laughs> against white people, that doesn't have to do with being white, but it's just wow. a critique. Oh, that's it. Now you criticize the white person. You're an anti-white racist, okay. right? Well, they're leaving uh, notes on my, so the video about my daughter. They're like, mm. "You're you're an anti-white racist. You're gonna make your daughter hate herself." <laughs> and it's like, you got that's not about your daughter. That's just saying that that's what you're gonna do. You're, if your daughter's white, then you are. You're cool with her growing up hating herself. If you really feel like black people are victims yep. and white people are the oppressors, you absolutely are. That's what CRT is right now, nigga. That's exactly what you're doing. You are gonna make your daughter grow up hating herself if you are. This is the fucking shit you're pushing. Yeah. Guys are so ignorant and stupid, you know. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, my daughter gonna hate herself and hate being white. Yeah. yeah. Like, like at any minute, you hate I'm like, being white. Hate being white, children. You know, like <laughs> you hate <laughs> no, being no, white yourself. Yeah. No, Look at your hat, bro. Right. But then he claims that. Matter of fact, his 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 daughter was already bound to grow up hating herself. Because that's her father. Yes, because <laughs> R.A. is her father, Legit. and he hates himself. Absolutely, he hates that he's white. Yep, sits there and says, "White boy, white boy, how you sound saying that?" And you're I white. Oh, I hate that. It's wild. It literally makes no sense. No, and he probably got that shit when he was younger. Yep. When he right. was younger, he was a white kid mm -hmm. in a, in a black neighborhood, and they probably called him white boy for years and years and years. And then he started rapping, and they started respecting him. He literally probably tried his hardest to become a black person yep. just to fit in and stop hearing white boy, white boy, mm -hmm. which is why he says it now because he knows that the shit is disrespectful. Yep, he probably can't wait. He couldn't wait to use that one on somebody. Absolutely, bro. Disgusting. <laughs> that, that people are racist to him, I think, because he's a quarter Asian. But no one can tell that he's a quarter Asian. So, no, literally no, no one, one knows no, that one. No, no one. one. No. Okay. He used to roll with Luke Radowski from We Are Change, who I was friends with. I, I still friends with. He, and he, when he used to do the wild stuff and go run up on politicians, Don Rumsfeld, or uh -huh. hey, you're a war criminal. Oh, cool. That's a cool guy. You know, yeah. anti-war guy. So then Tim Poole was his friend, and I, I seen Tim a couple times with him years ago. 
And I just thought it was two white guys, cool, you know? And everybody thinks they're white guys, because they are. So what's the problem with that? You guys are white guys, stand up for yourself and yeah. say. <laughs> but I, yeah. like, is he claiming, this is what I can't, is he claiming that people know he's Asian and are discriminating against That's him what because he claimed he's Asian? Did you watch he's, it? Like, no, come on, man. Even if you're a Tim Poole fan, you, can't you, just say you no. know that that's not what anybody thinks. You can't thinks. just say no to that. And the third thing is, you can't just say no, no he, to that. he kept saying. You can't just say no to that. That's like. Yo, it's it's so crazy how the logic works. So a chick, a chick can just automatically say, uh, non-consensual, non-consensual, do whatever, like be totally for it, say non-consensual. And if you say, uh, I was there and I witnessed something different happen, then they act like you're victim blaming. Like, oh, you're victim blaming, you're victim blaming, you don't, da 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 mm -hmm. And it could, it could be blatant that she's, it could be, everyone in that party can know that she's lying. And it's just victim blaming, victim blaming, they will protect her. But when a white person says that they experience racism, even if you take away the Asian part, it's just automatically like, oh my God, get out of here. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah okay, yeah, okay. Even though we witness this shit on a daily basis. So so you have white skin. The reason, the reason it's so bad to be racist against black people, right? It's because they're born with black skin, they can't change it. And white people run the country, right? A few white people run the country. So... When you say something about black people, they can't change their skin color, so they just have to hate themselves. Oh, I hate myself because you hate me. So wouldn't that work with anybody? If you say Legit. to a white person who's my age, done in this world, if it works on me and I'm and I'm 32, why wouldn't it work on a 32-year-old white man? You say something about their race, it's going to hurt their feelings. They're going to feel less, mm -hmm. especially when the entire world is trying to act like it's okay to do. When you're trying, the whole world's trying to perpetuate that white people cannot experience racism. So you can just say anything you want. You can say, I want white genocide. And people are like, ha, 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 and laugh about that. Mm -hmm. How are you supposed to feel when you're white? And that's the type of shit that is, people are saying is not racist. Legit. And then the only people who are calling it out are other white people. It can't be And then racist. they get called white supremacists. Yeah. White supremacists. It doesn't make any sense. This is like a fucking, this is wild what's happening. Mm -hmm. This is the craziest shit I've ever seen, honestly. Later in the interview, how he grew up with gangbangers yeah, and there was murderers in his bedroom and they were having sex in his bedroom. They were violating no, no. people in the basement. Oh, yeah. They were having sex in the bedroom and people were getting veed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting they were veed. getting veed in the in the yeah. closet. No, in the, in the basement, I think. Oh, in the basement. So, Got it. so the, is he trying to say then that? Since he was with gangbangers, he's actually a minority, and if people are being racist against him because of that, does anybody in his audience know? Does yeah. he know what? The racism he's referring Bro, to we is about it real gangbangers in my night. house. We had real gangbangers and we had real uh, uh, criminal gang members and the feds raided our house. Like we had literally like 20 feds running our house with machine guns. I don't Why aren't you, you in prison yep. then? And I don't believe you. No, nope, you're white. <laughs> you're white. I don't believe you. For you're real. white. That didn't happen. Yep. That didn't happen. You're just a white boy. I don't yep. want to hear it. Yep. You didn't have no gangbangers. Your neighbors were black and you're, it happened yep. to them. Yep. Stop you lying. You stole that story, bro. Stop lying. You couldn't have went through that. You're nah. white. There's no way. There's no way you experienced that. You are white. Yep. It's, it's impossible that yeah, you went through that. Absolutely. It's impossible. We know better than that. White people don't experience that. White people, you mm -hmm. just said, white people don't have game bangers and stuff. The yeah. only difference is that you're from New York. I don't care where yeah. you're from. You're still white. Yeah. You didn't experience it. Yeah. I don't want to hear it. You're like, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. And he probably is lying. That's the thing. He probably is really lying yes. about his fucking story, bro. That's the thing. You know what I'm saying? Yep. But I would never discount it. I would say, oh, damn, that's fucked up. If I, like, in all reality, I'm not going to say, oh, no, that's not true for no reason. Because why would I just assume that someone's going not going through something that they're and saying? It's just crazy. Exactly. Just because it fits my narrative. Exactly. And what the fuck does this story about you supposedly having feds run up in your house have to do with anything that's going on? With Tim being Asian or anything, what does it have because, to do with anything? You just want to he, tell a story. Because he had real gang bangers. It's literally him. He he's he's dis discrediting what Tim says and then attributing it to himself, mm -hmm. as if he's not white. Yep. He's doing what what like actually, you know, it's funny. It's the same thing that like all all these motherfucking uh, liberals at colleges and shit who are like. You're, you're oppressing me and all this. They all do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Like everything that I've been through my whole life, mm -hmm. even though they, they don't even know racism like that. Like there's people who actually went through shit and they act like they went through it. And they're like, it's the same exact thing. I actually went through when they didn't go through shit either. That's what he's trying to do. He's trying to make his story seem yes more legitimate than Tim's.
because he really feels like he is part black. He really thinks he's he black. He does. He really does. He, he really thinks- does. Yo. He's trying to act like his story is more valid because mm. he could actually be considered more black. And that's what he thinks in his head. That's really what he thinks. Bro, Never. you're white too. So anything you say about Tim <laughs> applies to you. If not, more to you. Because yeah. Tim really is 25% ra- uh, racist. 20, 25% Asian. Mm-hmm. You're, you're, you're 75% racist. 25% white. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, he's a wannabe. He absolutely is. And dogs and handcuffed people. Like I lived with gangbangers. One that was man, real. Exactly. <laughs> you know. So and did you believe it's documented. Oh, no, that's why I said, show me a picture of you hanging documented out. Documented on your something. paperwork. And his snitch? fans got mad. How dare you say you need a picture? You know, like I'm saying, just show some. You know, yeah, I hung out with gang. So I said, no. Who did you grow up with? Just, you know, I'm just asking. Why? Like he, he because, says with journalists. So you have to know the gangbangers in order for it to be true. Literally, why it the doesn't fuck even make does sense, that bro. matter? It makes no sense, bro. Oh my like, God. Yeah, tell, tell us more. You know, so let me know what's going on. But uh, apparently, that made me racist because I questioned. His past or whatever, you know, because I think he, he's a, just a regular white kid. But so it hurt his feelings, I guess, you know. But I, the whole the whole interaction was fascinating because <laughs> you called him out on something that I think was incredibly important to bring up, which is the fact that he speaks out of both sides of his mouth. So on one hand, he Honestly, wanted to I posture have heard as this real warrior for the disenfranchised, while Simultaneously, he's putting out videos justifying the murder of Ahmaud Arbery, justifying what Derek Chauvin did to George Floyd. You specifically brought up those examples, mm-hmm. and so and, and, uh, <laughs> no, he didn't. He just yelled. The, uh, the, the, the riots, he said, the he said, he said, Amory. Uh, yeah, he didn't even Amory, get the name right. Amory. Black bodies dead. Black bodies. The guy on the stand. Derek <laughs> Chauvin. Derek Chauvin. Do you champion Derek Chauvin? Derek Chauvin. Uh, Amory body black. Like he actually didn't make any points nope. that whole day. Nope. To, to be honest. Shot five times. The cops shot five times. It started the riots with Rittenhouse and everything. Uh, um. Yeah, Jacob, Jacob Blake, Blake uh, is <laughs> him saying. Well, you don't know anybody's you know, name. It was, it's it's always the defense. He literally of, know, no, uh, knows nobody n- nobody's shot the name. Black man, you know, and, and it, but right. he's saying the, the the white police woman. He's he's against her now. So uh, you know, uh, and that he's in favor of abolishing the police. Yeah, so what do you make of that argument that he wants to abolish the police? Well, uh, Yo, know, I honestly know. have I honestly have heard that Tim Pool does speak out of both sides of his mouth. So that is one thing. I don't know. If, about these specific subjects, but it's something that people continuously say. Anytime we react to any Tim Pool video and I upload it in the premiere, someone is saying Tim Pool is a fence sitter. I've heard that so many times. I don't know what about because I I need to be shown this, but people keep saying that. People keep saying that. It happens more and more and more. And I uh don't know don't know what it means. I well I know what it means, but I don't know why why people say it about him, but clearly I need to look into it because people say it a lot. Well, you know, I just laughed at it. I didn't really have much to say, but come on, man, like, you know. (laughs) Yeah, I mean, look, from what I see, he says when the police uh, are arresting rioters, yeah, these three are saying right it wingers, for a totally for example, different reason. Rioting on January 6 and threatening to execute people, they were chanting "Hang Mike Pence." He says, "Poor guy, white guys." No, we got to abolish the police. And then he says, "We got to replace them with militias, armed militias." Right. Gee, I wonder what armed militias are going to do. Okay. And gee, I wonder who you want in the armed militia, right? Uh, and he goes back. Oh, I went back when I was pretending to be a left winger ten years ago. I did a documentary. In- well. Um, when I say I said fence setter and talks out of both sides of his mouth, I, I didn't say that it was one or the other. I've heard people say that he literally goes against things that, that has come out of his own mouth, which would be talking out of both sides of your mouth. So you're just semantics. you're you're trying to yeah you're doing semantics. But I I I said both of them. I didn't just say one of them. Mm-hmm. Ferguson, and when that racket didn't work out, I now became a, a racist right winger doing nothing but racist videos about how it was great that black people got shot and they deserved it every Yo, single time. Words, this but nigga remember when wild. Mike Rift was trying to this be a left winger 10 wild. years ago. And you seem to have found that unpersuasive. This yeah. nigga is wild. He's but, um, disgusting. Did you hear what you know. just I, said? Yeah, he's it's disgusting. It's great that black people got yeah. shot. Bro, Tim would not be on the internet still if, nope. he said, if he ever said anything like that. He would not even exist right now. That show would have been done if he said that. You crazy. <laughs> They just say anything, bro. They do not care if there's any anything to back up what they're saying. They just say things. He said it's great that black people are getting shot. Guarantee he never said no shit like that.
It's kind of also, I don't want to yes. be the guy that you just are comes, allowed to change your mind. I'd like Absolutely. to say it to his face, too. You know, I'm not good just going to the, the Turks to say, hey, Tim Pool, you oh, jerk. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. <laughs> you said it to yeah. his face. But I, nah, I mean, I mean I, I, you know, like, like, I think there should be more discussions between people. I think we should all come together and talk. Because uh, I look at old episodes like Dick Cavett, and they, they'd have, like, you know, racist segregationists here. They'd have Jim Brown here. They, you know, so you'd be able to go, Jim Brown's right, or this and that. I, th no. I think everybody, you I can't think right have, now we're in this, like, you can't have like a Tim Pool people only. No, watch it Tim can't Cole happen. and That's only right. want that decision. That's a and lie. Rachel Maddow only want Rachel Maddow, Maddow. That's a lie. Who only watches Tim Pool? Yo, I just No can't. one only watches Tim Pool. Well, maybe some people do, but majority of people don't only watch Tim Pool. You go on my channel, you if you they they show like five channels that uh your viewers watch as well. Yeah. Tim Pool's in that list. So <laughs> they're watching Tim Pool and me. So already you're wrong. I think he's at the top of the list, to be honest. I think he might be the, the wow. top of the list that people watch. <laughs> so that's two people right there. Those, you know, opinion and, and Tucker people only want Tucker's opinion. And every, they get lost in this box. Well, I think everybody should, let's all go discuss things. And, and I seen you try it once with Ben Shapiro. You know, you had your little, okay, I'll talk with this guy, even though I disagree with I would never invite Ari on my show. That's kind of <laughs> decent, you know? Like, so Ari, right, here's my point on that. Okay, especially so not, especially not that. to call him a bitch because I'll fight. Yeah. That's the difference. And then I'll fuck up my whole shit trying to fight somebody because these type of people call cops too. Yeah. I don't care. This dude, would he would try to get a check. I guarantee it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. If Tim would have did something, it would have probably came out very slowly. Oh, I got injured on his show. And just to, and then he'd be like, yeah, I'm getting all my money out of that. Fuck that. Fuck that white boy. That racist white boy. I want all my money. And they'll try to try to frame it as something else. Like, oh, I'm just, I'm just destroying people because they're racist. I don't care. But no, I know how these motherfuckers work. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't anyway. I wouldn't anyway because I don't, this nigga don't be saying nothing. He'd literally be saying nothing. More than anybody else, we have conservatives on the conversation. Uh, I debated Ben Shapiro, Tucker Carlson, and Coulter, so is Anna, it's Anna, et cetera, right? Um, but, and I had David Duke on the show, and the mainstream media yelled at us. You know, you can't platform. I called him an anti Semite, a racist, et cetera, and mainstream media lied about it to try to smear me. So oh, I believe up. in those conversations. And, and I was going to ask you why you went on Tim's show, and that explains it, right? Yeah, I, I, but, but the problem with having guys like Tim Poole on is I would rather have David Duke on, and I'll tell you why. Because David Duke at least is honest. Blatant, blatant. Yeah, he says, yeah, look, I think black people are inferior. I think Jews run the world. And he's he's honest yeah. about his racism. Whereas Tim yeah. Poole says, oh no, I once did something decent 10 years ago. I grew up with gangbangers who were killing people and then coming to my house. What a total, by the way, Tim, just to be clear, I don't believe you at all. I think you're a total hilarious liar. As I was watching it, I was like, you know, you got mad at RA for laughing. I was laughing my ass off the whole time. Oh yeah, guys, you're getting violated in the basement. I think you should have reported that. Okay, <laughs> so it's none of that happened, and none of his stories match up. My dad's a fireman, and, and you know he would have cleaned that stuff up. Oh, I don't know. We just let him in. You, by the way, you ask great questions, right? You're like, oh, who let him in the house? Who let the gangbangers? No, in the because house? he made it seem like a horror movie, like the you ever see Desperate Hours with Humphrey Bogart? They take over the house and kidnap the kids. And, oh, we don't want them in here. It's, it, it seemed like some crazy, like the, the gang members ran in there and they were like held hostage and were having sex everywhere. He made it look like a horror movie. I was like, dude, that didn't happen like that. Yeah. Who, who let them in the house? They were, you know, or yeah. if, did it even happen? He's like, well, I think my brother, I think my sister, he didn't, you know, so it is what it Whereas, is. Whereas, look, David Duke is honest and a terrible racist person, and Tim Poole is a terrible racist person who's totally dishonest. Who goes, oh yeah, I love black people. I mean, they're wrong every time. He shouldn't be shot every time. Well, except one time, because now RA called me out. So all of a sudden, oh, I found one white cop. I found one white cop. Well, uh, he's all his half his show yeah. is, uh, is CYA operation. Cover your ass, right? Yeah. Oh, I covered my ass that way. I covered my ass that way. No, Tim, you make money off of being a racist. Just own up to it. <laughs> then we'd have you on and we'd discuss it with you. It's a, it's a sure. new way for people to get rich as well because um, you know Trump is gone. They don't have the voice of Trump. You know these are Trump 2024 20, 20, type guys, and uh, their followers are like, oh, oh we got to take a break. We got to no, take no, a break. No, no, let's keep going. <laughs> but their followers, if you see all the comments, it's like Kyle 2024. It's like it's like Trump 2024. It's like White Lives Matter, and it's like so now they have this new these new type of leaders on YouTube, what? and it's funny. It's like. Because we, we, none of us thought there is idiots that say things like that, but that's not the majority of, any of, of the group at all. And I say that all the time that there's idiots on both sides. So 
it's easy to pick that, but what about the people on the left who are saying white genocide and yep. and, and I want white slaves and I'm totally for uh, just craziness. What about that? Like, clearly there's extreme extremes, you know what I'm saying, and radicals, nigga, so it doesn't matter. What are you even saying? That's all you're going to point out to try to discredit a, a man's full fucking platform. Legit. Like, it's clear that you're just, you're, you're a trash person. You ain't got nothing. Trash person. So his comments up. automatically mean that he believes what his comments say yeah that's the same thing that that bitch tried to pull that little thing tried to pull on ari uh not ari the rubber man fucking jordan jordan peterson when she said you support nazis yeah <laughs> you support nazis because nazis like some of the things you mm -hmm. say which means you support nazis like no that's not how this works but Trump would win, you know, but we didn't know how many of these like mutants were in, in the I've in the never head, even you know? heard White right. Lives you know, Matter I sort of before. I took my kids to the horror. Yeah. I've never heard that recently. before. And it was like Tom Berenger and all these legendary actors. And and there was a line around the block for one person like this. Uh -huh. And I'm like, who, who the hell could that got to be somebody big, right? Scott Bayo. Oh, <laughs> yeah. God, so, so, so they're all they're all hidden in the cut. The most shocking like he was, thing I've but it was real. I was like, life. wait, that's how Trump got it. It's like these. It's so Charles like this is big. still in charge, huh? Yeah, and Mag like, <laughs> MAGA loves Chachi. Like, yeah, but if you look online, you figure Scott Bayo, shamed everybody. No, it's like we love him because of that, you know. So, so it's a different demographic that's like comes out the woodwork, and I see it. I, I, I debated a racist years ago on Gavin McInnes' show. He's like a white nationalist guy, and. Um, after that interview, the same amount of people came out like, oh, and, and calling me every word, N word, and wigger, all the, you know, like, you, you know, you should die. Like, in this Tim Pool interview, there's like death threats out the box, like crazy death threats. And you go to the page, and it's all these like white supremacist weirdos sending me death just threats say on, this. in my inbox. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's like, you know. So, so I don't believe that. Me How about either. that? That's the same thing. That's, that's, that's like you saying, uh, Tim Pool doesn't have any type of any no one said anything to him because he's a white boy again I don't believe you I don't believe anyone's in your inbox saying nope. anything against you telling you you need to die or anything like that mm -hmm. you don't deal with that because you're white white people don't get death threats no nope, white people don't get death threats white people live the best life in the world and they don't have any issues you're a liar <laughs> why is it okay for him to say things happen to I him know complain about things black, but if, right? if another white person does it you're taking away from the black struggle mm -hmm. you're taking away from the black struggle you cannot say you go through things like i just don't understand this whole Legit. shit bro no so and it's the same demographic i got when i uh, did the racist uh with, with uh, gavin mckinnis you know so. so the thing that really struck me throughout that whole conversation was how much Tim Pool wanted to place himself in the position of being a victim. That was right? crazy. That right? was he, he's like the victim. And then no. later, uh, he, he hard. deleted mm -hmm. the video, so it's not available on you his channel. You said that three channel. times. It's because I They're used the word hard. cracker. Right. He and said his page was going to get taken down because I said cracker. Right. So there are some. But I'm platforms. saying it here. Are they going to take you down? I don't know. It depends I don't think on so. the context that you that you yeah. mentioned. In some platforms, social Aubrey's, media platforms, Aubrey's do take murderers it down. crackers. That's what I said in his show. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So they're. I mean, they're murderers. Are they? <laughs> are they really offended? Is Tim Pool offended? Oh, those racist murderers. You called them the wrong name. Say it. No, no. Poor say them. It. Say, like, say it. Say it. Poor them. Are you serious? Even if you go to Twitter right say now, it, like, I have a quote from Martin Luther King's daughter. Nice try. You didn't say it. These white people. They love to use you Martin you Luther the same King thing. wants we you not to look at you. racism. You know, they take that one quote, you know, and, right. and they falsely take the quote. But so I, I, it was her defending CRT, you know, critical race theory and saying, stop fear mongering this. If you want to read some of my father's work, you know, you know what I mean? My father, you know, anyone who defends so CRT is a fucking terrorist. Type people Absolutely. Are, are, you know, going at, you know, uh, um, Martin Luther King's daughter saying, you don't know nothing, you're ignorant, and you don't right. know what Martin Luther King know, <laughs> thinks. And but you, it's like, yo, it's his daughter. Let, him ha let her have her perspective of what she you know, learned from her father or believes her father would have thought. But no, they can't even let Martin Luther King's daughter have that. You know? well, yeah, she says it online. Yeah. Yeah, and well, my last thing is, look, he talked about how he gets uh, pulled into screenings when he goes to the airport. I thought it was a totally Karen uh, story, right? Like, yeah, of course. Uh, you know, oh, oh I, got, I get pulled over every time. But you kept asking him already, no, and no, I don't no. know that he, he asked him. He asked him, "Do you get pulled yep. pulled out in the airport?" He said yes. Mm -hmm. What do you mean, Karen? The nigga asked him a question, and he responded, "You fucking dummies." He ever answered it, but why? No, he didn't answer. He purposely right. didn't answer. Like I said, so, why are they pulling you over? He's like, I don't know. So, so why are you acting like you're racially profiled? That's the most ignorant thing to. You're not racially profiled ever in your life. A lot of black people aren't racially profiled, but they claim they are. I'm not saying there isn't. 
many black people who aren't racially profiled, but a lot of black people aren't racially profiled. But as soon as anything happens, it's because of their race. We can't do that. If anything, we should be trying to find other reasons and then maybe fall back on race if there's no other reason and it looks like there's some type of race. Mm. You should not automatically lead with race. You know what I'm saying? You can consider it in, in, in the grand scheme of things, mm -hmm. but I, I, don't, I think majority of the time, well, maybe, I don't even know, but I, I don't think that. I think from my experience, I, I don't think I've been racially profiled driving. I don't get pulled over. No. And I'm in Texas. Yeah. I lived in New Hampshire, a 96% white state. I didn't get racially profiled when I got pulled over. I, usually I'd be speeding, going crazy, and cops let me go. I've I've gotten pulled over a couple times for speeding, and cops like, go ahead, see you later. Go ahead, you're good, buddy. Yeah. In a 96% white state. Like, I don't want to hear it, bro. I don't want to hear it. You don't, you don't know. You don't know why someone got pulled over when someone gets pulled over. Like you're racially profiled. That's the most ignorant thing to... Yeah. But he's like, I don't know. So, so why are you acting like you're racially most profiled? Aren't That's the shit, most ignorant right. thing. To, you're, you're not racially profiled ever in your life. No cops are pulling you over. Nobody's saying, oh, look at the muds. No, no you, would, you were never racially profiled. And if you act like you are, that's a lie. Yeah. You know, that, he's a white kid, period. You know, if you want to say you're mixed from, from, from your grandparents or something, this and that, okay, you got a little, little Asian in you. All right, we got you, but like, don't act like people Asian. look at you and you know. <laughs> it is, it is, if you huh? walk into the hood, like, nobody's like, he... "Oh, look at that Korean man." You know, if, it's, it's not happening. You know? Yes, Tim, I'm definitely laughing at you. Look, the last yeah, thing is, I, I, no, I am trying to do that though. You know I what? am. Yeah, you are. No, yeah, they you know, did. You, know, you showed up on the on the young turds. Yep. You know exactly what they're going to do, but they've been trying to do it this entire time, and now all of a sudden he's just like. He, he doesn't have any of that bravado or anything yeah. like that. It's just, that's not what I'm trying to do. And yep, do Where's all that? Like, nah, now. you're trying to misrepresent me. Yep. That's what I'd be like. Like, no, nigga, none of that. What you're trying to do. I came on here to talk to you about the situation. I didn't come on here to just diss him over and over again. You fucking, y'all are over here trying to turn this into something else. I would have easily just called out because they're clearly using you as a tool to diss him. That's it. You know what's crazy, though? It's like I get soft in my old age because when I went there, they had somebody like drew a picture of me in pencil and they were like treat me like really beautifully and nice. And they had no problem with you. Yeah. No, I no, no. no. Yeah. That's what R.A. is. That's what Tim said about R.A. He's racist, but he's a good guy. That's what Tim said. That's what Tim said. Yo, this is wild. This is wild. This is so wild. Yeah, but it's all a part of their facade. Okay, right. but look, last thing is I was saying is that look, <laughs> it's, uh, they they make it seem like they make it seem like, hey, we're saying no white person can be it. poor. Are you nuts? Of course, Ooh. white people are poor. R A in this bitch. <laughs> is that More. look? It's, uh, they they make it seem like oh, they yeah. make it seem like. Disgusting. Hey, we're saying no white person can be poor. Are you nuts? Of course, white people are poor, right? Of course, white people are middle class. So and what are so, you saying? And they make it seem like we're saying so what are you that saying? no white person ever has gone through yeah. anything bad. Yeah. So That's insane. Yeah. Of course, saying? white people go of through course. bad stuff, what are you including saying? getting screened at the airport and sometimes. And sometimes too much. Don't use so it to take away issue? from some other struggle. Right. If, if you want to go to minimize the very real problem we have in this country with racial profiling, with police brutality, and yes, police brutality. Uh, it mostly impacts disproportionately African Americans in this country, yeah. and socioeconomic status has something to do with that as well. But like again, to me, what was most striking about all of it is that the very people who have minimized racism in this country are because now putting themselves in the position minimized. of being the ones who are aggrieved, being the ones who are victims, yeah. being the ones who are oppressed. And I just think it's rich for Tim Pool of all people. It's funny because that's not what's happening. No, that's not what's happening at all. You guys are trying to bully yeah. white people for being yep. white. And if they say, hey, that's not cool. You're trying to bully me for being white. Now they're victims. They're not, white people ain't trying to be victims. They're trying to not get bullied. That's it. <laughs> if you would stop talking crazy and trying to act like they're, they're terrible people just for being white, bitch. Look at you. Anyway, first of all, you are white. And uh, just like, just like RA's white. Chenk is the only one who looks Turkish at this damn table. So I, I'm just hearing this bitch talking the way she's talking, like she's really some type of like something. Yes, like an actual <laughs> activist is just disgusting because there's no conviction behind no, her words. She's there's probably no reading nothing a behind script. her words. It's disgusting. But to to act like 
And then they say, we're not saying white people can't be poor. We're not saying da da da. The funniest thing is white people are more affected because there's more white people. Yeah. Most white people ain't rich. That's the thing. So it's, it's a, the actual issue in this country is poverty, you know? It, it, it's classism. It's cla exactly. Everybody brings it to racism, but it's fucking racism classism. needs to be minimized. Racism needs to be minimized. Literally, that's the thing. They're minimizing racism. Good. Let's stop focusing on this bullshit because we're getting nowhere. We're literally getting nowhere. How much progress have we made? We've actually went backwards. Mm -hmm. We are getting nowhere. You think the way to the way to solve it is to teach white people that they're oppressors and teach black people that they're oppressed? Literally. It's crazy. You're just pulling shit out your ass. Wild, bro. <laughs> Wild. People who sits in his little studio making millions of dollars off of this garbage. What do you do, Putting bitch? himself in the position Legit. of uh, someone who is disenfranchised. He's, He's not, not disenfranchised. I'm not buying it. And I thank you for calling him out to his face for the lies that he tells on his show and the BS that he engages in. I loved it. Yeah, thank you. Thank yeah, you. me too. I, I, you I loved too. it because yeah, you're a fucking even like, um, the, the comments, it's like, uh, yeah, yeah it's, it's next level. You got to ignore it. Yeah, the, and a lot of them are trolls and bots. No, it is. It's like one follower, white supremacy, one yeah. follower. It's yeah, like yeah. crazy. But yeah. uh, and, what? and so they just look, say call, white supremacy. For the people that just, didn't watch the whole thing. They just thing. literally yeah, throw this word. Out. They throw this word out there for anybody that disagrees with them. Why are you here then, dude? What? 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 You're calling us all idiots. So Ooh. leave. The one that you asked to not ask questions before, remember? You said, don't ask me stupid que personal questions. Did I say white people are more affected by racism or poverty? No. But Which one did I say, you fucking idiot? He's already, he said you're the white people protector, too. <laughs> I'm the people protector, Legit. you dummy. What are you talking about? Why I'll take you, that. I'm not here. I'm Har bro. Harlem's hero, nigga. Why do you want to be a, a surrounded by a bunch of idiots? Because, look, people <laughs> like sitting in this <laughs> chat. Fuck? That's how it's 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 a credit to us. It, it sure it's is. It's a credit to I'll us. I'll take it. That <laughs> people who are, who agree with us and people who disagree uh, disagree with us spend hours in our chat. That's true. It is literally a credit to us. Don't see that as a negative. Yeah, that's because true. Because do you think do you think Tim Pool with his thirty five case fucking uh, chatters? You think none of them are disagreeing with him? Mm, mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's probably a lot of them that are. That's true. But who cares? True. He's it's only helping me. Here. My numbers, exactly. my numbers boost. So I don't. <laughs> Thanks it is for what the it view. Is. You notice I ain't paying attention to nothing. I've seen people talking shit this whole time. I ain't did shit. Don't matter to me. You don't got to delete no one's message. It's good. It's good. Let them call me an idiot. <laughs> All right. And he did the thing He's about on my you know, channel. pushing the mic away. <laughs> but if you if actually, actually watched like, when Ari was calm and uh, and. He was way better at calling him out. Yes. He kept asking him details, and Tim had no answers to mm. any of the questions because that they were actual him questions. Because it was obvious <laughs> that he was he was making it up. But hey, Tim, if you didn't make it up, I'll just leave everybody with this question: Who was violated in Tim Pool's basement? <laughs> yeah, who was no, but that's what he said. Yo, they're just going to keep what talking about this. Yeah, they yeah. were V, and then he yeah. explained yeah, yeah. that but meant that they were that was gangbanger talk for violated. Which child? Because he said they were kids. Which child was violated in Tim Pool's basement? And what did Tim do about it? It's not no, my no, no, story. No, 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 no. Don't hide him. Bring him back. That, I just said he was fine. Don't hide him. Let him put him. Bring him right back. I just said it was good that we have people with opposing opinions in here. Don't hide them. Mm. That's fine. That is absolutely fine. We're trying to grow the numbers. We do not want to. We don't want to kick people out unless they're really being issues. I don't think that's an issue for him to call. For him to say you're a bunch of idiots. I used to would be affected by that. I don't care anymore. We let people say whatever they want in here. They can they can talk crazy if they're really affecting the chat and like become an issue. Then we can get rid of them. But he's allowed to have a different opinion. That's absolutely fine. He's not really being too aggressive about it. He used big words and said, you're a bunch of idiots. That's fine. You know, just like you guys tell me, don't acknowledge him. I don't even believe the story. And, and, it's Tim's story. Right. He said to, it. Back to your story about like oh white gosh. people being poor. Obviously, there's white poor people, white people with problems. It's like, so they made up this fake, oh, Ari's dad paid all the rent. He's dad's rich, dad's rich. And oh. you've, I've been on your show. I told you, you know, my father's like was a broke Vietnam veteran with two handicapped kids. You know, Agent Orange, you know, murdered my sister, murdered my brother, murdered my nephew. You know, we, we didn't come from money. We were sitting there broke with uh, my brother can't walk. Cool, talk I don't care about my your life story, Ari. All right. All right. Why you don't go through it? Literally. Get past this part. 
know what I'm saying? <laughs> Continue get get past the white struggle. All right, because white people don't struggle. Oh, I don't want to hear it. Continue. Talk about the flowers and great time in your life because that's what white people go through. White people do not deal. White people do not deal with nothing. I want to hear the great part of your life because it's all you go through. Don't play with me. Can't walk or talk. My nephew, uh, you know, body just stopped working. Six months old, twenty-five years old. My sister died. Ten years still, old. My brother you're died. You're still going. Um, you know, we were a white family with a lot of problems. So, so oh. all these people go, oh, we're the white oh. family with problems. No, we we were that white family with oh. problems. But I'm okay, not going to no, ever. So it really, that's really what it is. Then it was he wants him. to be yes. the number one yep. most impoverished white family in America. Yep. That it, it all comes out. It all came out right yep, there. Victim. He just exposed himself right we there. We were that family. Everyone complains about, oh, we were the white family. No, no, no. We were that family. Yep. Nigga. Yep. You just exposed yourself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you fucking lame. Oh, my God. I, you know, don't have the privilege of, you know, you know what I mean? It's, it's like, I'm not going to use my struggle to act like. You just did. You know, to take away from the struggle of, of black people, brown people what in our country, do? which is real. He did but it to take away the, uh, from they Tim. They cry about it. Oh, oh white yeah, people, you're right. You're white right. People can't have, you're we, right. we know white people who have a struggle. I had a, we, we do have struggles. We understand that. But that has, when we were talking about critical race theory in the schools. And then you bring up, but my struggle with being an Asian from, from 25, uh, from, you know. If it applies, then it applies, right? Mm -hmm. 70 years ago. And my struggle, he, um, what's yeah, his name? Yeah, already saying he's a bigger he victim. Polish. That's literally like, what he yeah. just said. But we're not talking, we're talking about critical race theory in School. What does it have to do with Poland? What does it have to do with uh, a Korean grandparent from 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 the forties? What what does it have to do with that stuff? That that was yeah. that was the strangeness. Yo, story. he just played the <laughs> victim. Thank you for so, taking the time yes. to come and so uh, talk to badly. us about what really they went down. The, um, no. I appreciated the interview and the I appreciate you fucking, showing up and they don't talking even to us about it. Can, can crazy, I bring bro. up one touchy subject? What are you about to say? Yeah, go ahead. Sure. Go ahead, about to real say. Quick. You guys all got to make up. You and Dor. No, no, hell no. Hell really? no. F no. door, he could F the hell out. I, like, God, I, like I wish I could curse on the show. Like all of yeah, he sexually harassed me at work for years. For literally Bitch. years. Oh. Done with Bitch. this video. Out of oh, here. I don't play this. Oh my God. I don't play this. Yo, Why this, isn't he in jail? This bitch is disgusting. Why isn't he in jail? Why didn't you press charges? This is a disgusting bitch, bro. Why, why why is he walking free? Why'd you just kick him off the show? If he sexually harassed you, why didn't you what yo this I don't shit, play that. I don't play that. that I'm not giving. I'm not even. Mm -mm. Even more men. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> He's a fucking that. victim. She's a fucking. Yeah, oh she's a victim God. too. No, fuck him. I he sexually even... harassed me, and I only had a problem when when when, when he it got when brought he, up in the end. When he fucked up the show, that's when I had a problem. That's with when it. I had a problem. I didn't have a problem with the whole time until something specifically. You know, the sexual harassment was all okay until. And I'm sorry. Something else. Like so, I'm so sick of this I'm, shit, bro. Seriously, I've never been harassed. I can't speak for people that, that are harassed, but. If I Girls imagine, have been harassed, but yeah. if I imagine myself how I would feel if I was harassed, I would not be dealing with it, broadcasting it like that. Like you know what I mean? I would have gone. Pre I would yeah, go press charges. With I would deal with my shit, but I wouldn't be like he sexually harassed me for the. the yeah, but she did <laughs> like, that on purpose. Bitch, you, that's what that's what these type of bitches do. They want the attention from yeah, the victims. They want sick. to be victims. That's sick. That's what it is. That is fucking sick and makes the people that are really harassed and really victims. You should be ashamed of yourself. Legit. Her and this motherfucker in the middle. He should be ashamed of himself. And the too. one on the and left. And this too. one on the left for all sick three of them. Fucks. She no. said he sexually harassed me for years. Mm -mm. Yo, I cannot stand people like that, bro. I cannot stand people like So you can yell it now, but you couldn't yell it when he was there? That's right? weird. You yell it right now, very loud when he's not there. But when he was there, you couldn't put him on blast and fuck his life up? Yo, this bitch. If, it, if, he was a, if he's a fucking sexual harasser then <laughs> you should have been more than willing right right how could you you're face an activist and shit this is so wow, stupid she bro. threw that in so there stupid that's how they do that's how yes. they throw it in there like that always oh i got raped do. i got this always I got, that's how like, they do it every yo, time and every it's, time it is like and so and when you're having an argument right it's the, specifically the pro-life argument whenever you're having that argument and you tell people uh i'm not saying that I'm not saying I'm not saying that abortion should be illegal, even though I I think that there shouldn't be abortions, but unless it, unless you are a rape victim or incest victim, you know. But uh, they always come to that every time. Right? What about rapists? Oh, so you think that rape people, girls who are raped, should yep. should have to have the baby? And that's never what anyone said. No. And that's only one percent of the situation. Yep. But people yell that they Literally. yell that shit. One percent <laughs> of abortions.
is from rape and incest. But yeah. they scream it like that is the biggest mm -hmm. issue that you are fucking up. Yep. In that, so it's just when it's convenient, the sexual harassment yes. and all those types yep. of situations come in, and it and it it's it's disgusting. This it's bitch, legitimately this, disgusting. This bitch got sexually harassed because Ra wanted him to be back on the show. <laughs> <laughs> Legit. She's like, no, everyone's supposed to hate like, him. Bitch, I need everyone to hate him. Are I need everybody to hate him. Disgusting human being. All three I of these I need everybody to hate him. Are disgusting. Yeah, this is sick. But, uh... Her, <laughs> her harassment story takes away from the black struggle, and I don't want to hear it. <laughs> it really does. It really does. But they don't, they don't follow their own logic, bruv. Yo, disgusting. they gotta go. They gotta fucking go. They really do. They all gotta go. <sighs> I'm kind of disappointed that I watched this. I'm not going to lie. Pieces of shit. Yeah, it made me mad. It, it triggered me. It me triggered too. me. I'm not disappointed that I watched it, but it triggered me. You know what I'm saying? Like, it did trigger me. I wasn't this hype when I started this goddamn live stream. Me I was sitting here chilling. I was like, I'm going to relax for this live stream. And they just fucking triggered me. It triggered me. But uh, yeah, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you be notified whenever we drop. Uh, I'm about to hit the... I'm about to hit the... The outro, guys. Don't leave. Not the end of the live. Just the end of the video. Okay, guys? Don't go nowhere. But uh, remember to always stay flawed. Don't you dare try play flawed. And if you see me in the streets, then you better say, Hey, hey flawed. Make it easier for me to go to sleep at night. At night. I had a dream that I could do my thing. And everywhere I went, the people knew my name. Some people hated on the truth I bring. But now I use the hating just to fuel my flame. I had a dream that I could do my thing And everywhere I went the people knew my name Some people hated on the truth I bring But now I use the hating just to fuel my blame